Let's inspect this bad boy. I'll undo the end plates. Yes, we'll just remove these end plate covers. You can see there they've got some lube on the thread there. All looks pretty good. Okay. Get up here. There's the original front gear set. Turns real nice. Is the drive coupler. You wouldn't use this one when you convert blowers over. You'd use a different spline diameter and a more stronger one than this three bolt pattern. So a spline shaft behind your um, pulley snout drives that coupler. That's real good. Okay, that's the end cover you want to keep. It has that platform there to bolt on your drive snout. All right, guys. So what you're looking at here is a 471 blower. So again, this case here is your traditional style case, just like your traditional 6 and 871 superchargers with this style of um, uh, housing case and that type of uh, end plates or the bolt pattern at least. So the 471 case, guys, is a little shorter, obviously, than the 671 case. Now, if you remember on my previous vids, the 671 comes in at 15 inch, the case and rotors. The 671 does, and the, this 471, and I'll just show you. So we go right there, the end of the case, which is the end of the rotors. And a 471 is 10 inches long, okay? And you got another baby version before this, which is the 371 supercharger. And they look very similar, but they're not. The 371, again, is shorter and shorter rotors. And the 371 comes in at 7.5 inches, I think, in length. This, the 471 is 10 inches. Okay, guys? And externally, the way you can identify them is um, just through these traditional ribs on the cases. So on a 471, you're still going to have three ribs like this the flow down and on uh, on a 471 and on a 371 you're gonna have oh, I can't remember oh, it's just two two in the center that'll flow down and that's how you can physically tell you know the difference between a baby 371 supercharger and this 471 supercharger so this just came in scored it for a good price delivered to my door and um, you can see it's straight off a of diesel it still has um, the tags on the end of the case, which uh, get hack hacked off when they get converted over. Can you see how they dangle down? They sort of like lock in whatever, you know, diesel engine it's on. Something's going on there. But yeah, when you convert them over, all blowers come with those tags and they get hacked off, things like that. But yeah, it's a good case. Um, you can see I'll zoom in there, you can see the end plates have got no scores, no nothing, it's just a little dirty. I did give it a quick clean um, before, a quick wipe down, so you can see that. And the rotors are just pretty immaculate. Minimal, minimal scuffs on those high spots, and you can see there. Just a few little scuffs, but there's no chunks. There's no like, you know, debris that's gone in there and, you know, knocked off a chunk or anything like that. They're very good, very pleased. We can see the end plate face there on that side. And that's just immaculate. A few little oil stains, fuel stains, that's about it.
So again guys, it's always a bonus to score this end plate cover. The one that has the platform with the, um, you know, with the bolt pattern like that ready for your snout drive to bolt on and you know you obviously you do your um valve relief pressure relief valve there and all sorts of stuff you can tap in for a filling you know oil filling you know somewhere there things like that this is always a bonus because these things now are getting hard to get and you know just just this factory piece here goes for 150 bucks you know what I mean? Immaculate set of um, factory gears. You can see there. And perfect. So they will be reused. And that's the original coupler with the spline drive. And uh, you won't use that. You'll use, you know, a more stronger chrome molly coupler with a different spline diameter and that and that's just how it gets you know so what happens is there's um on your snout drive that goes onto that there's um there's just a spline sort of like a differential like your axle there's a spline within that that goes in there and all the offsets are perfect you know don't get me wrong all of them are, are are done accordingly and as everything just bolts bolts in that spline, spline that's shaft in, and that's it your supercharger belt your crank pulley spins the whole lot that's just all it is you just got to get the measurements and offsets right yeah so this is the other cover that comes with it on the other end um it looks similar but you don't use these you can't sort of use them because this actual um what would you call it this body here is smaller um than that and that's got the platform, the provision for your snout drive, as I said, where this hasn't. Uh, yeah, but this is a real nice um, 471 that's come in. I'm happy with that. And just again, you know, if you don't remember um, the measurements uh, that I mentioned on the previous blower bids I did, um, a 371, which is um, smaller than that I think it's seven and a half inches in length the case and rotors and then this guy here is 10 inches in length right and they're three lobe rotors same thing three lobe standard Haley extended twist um, the 671 if you remember were 15 inch so they come up to about say there right so you can see it's a substantial extra amount over this 471 the 671 popular jimmy blower and then the 871 is 15.9 inches in length a little bit more than the 671 and yeah and if you guys remember remember i was talking about um the preferred end plate like the one i have on my supercharger on my cleveland and those other um jimmy end plates that i pulled out they had those ears, um, if you remember that, and they were just smooth. And I may have I may have mentioned these end plates where the where they these are the later um, end plates used on the Jimmy blowers, like on this and on the 671 also. And um, they're not my favourite end plate this type because you can see all that scalloping, and you know it just shows the the um the bolt bosses and i just don't like it they they call these cases and these end plates the later cases so you know i don't know i don't know what later means you know it may have been the 70s 80s where they were produced and where the old jimmy blowers with the you know the two ears on the ends the case and end plates with the smooth end plates they were more of the 50s and 60s uh jimmy blowers and they're just the end plates I was talking about, if you guys remember. And, you know, I mean, they still use them. They still use these stock end plates. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with them. But I just prefer these other ones on the previous bids. Like the end plates that I run on my blower. I prefer them over these. And the same thing, guys, with this. This 471. Um... You know when it gets converted over 
everything gets checked as i mentioned in the previous vids um, different seals double lipped sealed bearings get used there just not to allow anything to come through so that'll be the back um, same thing with the front original gears will be used um, you can see there the single single pinned you know let's find the other one and there's the other one on that side same thing over here they're just single pin so you can double or triple pin them your blower guy would do that end plates look immaculate on this case i also check the uh, case itself it's not too bad there's not really any scores that would worry me you can just see it there yeah it's pretty clean good blow of this you know they're not too bad these blowers um they can make some power on a relatively small cubic inch small block v8 with one of these just set up on street boost you know they're still capable of making 550 600 horse you know on a serious deal sort of wound up you know you can achieve you know 650 plus flywheel horsepower with running one of these blowers you know being carbureted yeah it just depends how serious the combination is that's all yeah, take a look at this little green machine that's actually a burnout car um and you know uh, it's running a 471 gm blower on top of a holden v8 small block only 253 cubic inches and um, running 9 psi worth of boost and producing 600 flywheel horsepower and 450 foot pound of torque pretty badass and even gave it a shot down the quarter and managed an easy off the trailer 10 second pass rather be blown any day than stroked